Hi kids, welcome back. Today is week 21, day four. And our highlight verse today is 2 Kings 2, 11 through 12. Let's take a look in the King James Version. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elisha went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. Now we'll look at the NIRV version. 2 Kings 2, 11 through 12. They kept walking along and talking together. Suddenly there appeared a chariot and horses made of fire. The chariot and horses came between the two men. Then Elijah went up to heaven in a strong wind. Elisha saw it and cried out to Elijah, My father, you are like a father to me. You, Elijah, are the true chariots and horsemen of Israel. Elisha didn't see Elijah anymore. Then Elisha took hold of his own garment and tore it in two. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen. Wow. So now there's two names, Elijah and Elisha. What does all this mean? Let's look in our book. It says here, God told Elijah that he was going to be taken into heaven by a whirlwind. Elisha was a prophet who was learning from Elijah. Elisha saw God take Elijah to heaven in a chariot of fiery horses. After Elijah went to heaven, Elisha stayed behind on earth to care for God's people. How do we apply this? It says here, God does not leave his people without someone to help us. When Jesus left to go back to heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit to help us. That's awesome. All right, write Psalm 63, 1. So if you have your book, they give you some space there to write Psalm 63, 1, which is your memory verse. And if you don't have the book, then just write it in your journal or on a note card somewhere you, that you can place in um, maybe on the fridge or in the bathroom, somewhere that you can look at it often, okay? Let's respond in prayer. Oh God, thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to be with us. We love you and we need you. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Amen. Now it's time for our memory verse. Let's go to the King James Version first. Psalm 63, 1, King James Version. Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Psalm 63, 1. Now we'll look at it in the NIRV version. Psalm 63, 1. God, you are my God. I seek you with all my heart. With all my strength, I thirst for you in this dry desert where there isn't any water. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen.